Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on 7 Days to Die, the Beginner's Guide and today we are leading straight off from last night's one where uh, we had a very easy night thankfully, you know we upgraded the outside to the base uh, so that the zombies can't come in, obviously we are struggling with food um, but I managed to so what I've gone and done is I've gone and ran all the way up there to where our previous building was. If you remember, we did some scavenging at the beginning, which is why I always scavenge at the beginning. And we had a cooking pot and a grill. So I ran over there. And whilst I ran over there, I picked up any trash I found. I managed to find a couple of tins of food on the way. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place these in here, like so. And then what this is going to allow us to do is if we place some wood in, and then we have the resources we need, which we should do if we press, we need... Water and ear of corn. And water and corn, sorry. Corn, get water. Uh, I picked up the murky water as well. As you can see, we could do the corn on a cob or we could do a boiled egg. Do the corn on the cob. Now, uh, the other thing we need as well is water, which we can do. So, if you just boil water, so you just get murky water and you can boil it. Once step three complete, we can then make either some more ear of corn. Or we can make the uh, the eggs and the the eggs. Sorry, the boiled eggs. But since we're not doing the boiled eggs right now, don't need any more of these resources here. Uh, the tins we'll keep all of for now because they're useful to fill with water. So you can have murky water if you really want. If we're struggling to get empty jars, and just have that all in there. We don't need all these flashlights. Uh, I'll save the second one just in case Hive Tower doesn't have one. But we've got two corns now, so we can go ahead and eat these. Now, before they gave us, like, two food, they now give us five food. So they're not the best thing in the world. But, I mean, out of this, we're going to get 25 food, which is, you know, a quarter of what we require. Uh, so it's going to really help us. Go ahead there. Second one. Second one. Get the two more queued up. Three more seconds that I can craft another one. Go. Craft another one. Okay, so we've got a little bit more food there, um, and I'm going to take this time now, go out there and have a look and see if we can find anything else. Uh, so, now we need to keep an eye out on things we can craft. Obviously, we can always find the eggs about, so always keep an eye out for the um, nests. We've already looted all that that we can. So we're going to bypass that there. We've got every corn we could out of that field. We've obviously done the military base. Let's head on down the road and see if we can find anything. Now, this here will have water. If you break the top of that, it will more than likely have water, should I say. Sometimes, very rarely, they don't. As a matter of fact, there's actually just a water pit right outside the front of it. We should be able to use that to get water. Go. Pile of trash. Let's just see if there's anything up here. So, they've changed some of the POIs. This is a new looking POI. Oh, there's nothing on there. Nope. Go ahead and drop that down. Sometimes they hide stuff underneath things like that. She's going to keep an eye out. But we'll head over to this building at the back here. The building at the back looks like it could be interesting. So, however, we are still looking at you know building the horde base. We're also still being proactive about keeping it alive. Because we're going to need some weaponry. Oh, there's a kennels there, so there could be a dog around, so just keep an eye on that. The word of dog. Nothing around here. There could be a dog still inside, so be wary of that. Don't be over there, but we should be fine. Well, we could trigger something here, so let's just be careful. Always check everything. There's nothing around here, that's fine. Kitchen could have zombies in here. There we go, there's one. Gonna knock her out. She's done for. Now before I check the kitchen, I just wanna there we go. Not spotted me just yet, so I'm gonna take him out. There we go. Boom, headshot. We've done the downstairs area. Downstairs area is good. If it's a little dark like this, because we're still, because it's quite a dark room, this. We just put our torch on, press F. 
Have a look around. You can use your torch to knock out things like that. Always check behind the pictures because trust me, you will find something at some stage. But let's go ahead and raid the kitchen. Hopefully, we can get some more food. There we are, a bit of food there. All of them. Four more cooking pots. So we can use them to scrap or whatever. More water. Just constantly going around. Everything else is empty. Nothing behind there. Nope. Alright, let's just grab what food we've got already. Let's get it eaten because we're still low. There we go. Right, now let's head on upstairs, shall we? Again, picture frames. Just take it easy. Could be a zombie somewhere. Right, let's turn the torch up because it's a bit brighter in here. Always shut the toilets because you could get murky water like that, which can be turned into normal water as you've seen already. Nothing else in this room here. Just, it pays to be a little slower when you're doing stuff like this. The last thing you want is to jump into a mob of zombies. I think we've already got some actually, so. Right. Double check and make sure there's no zombie going to jump out at me. Holy backpack. Okay, looks like we're safe. Beauty table, nothing there. Nightstand, might find some clothing. Yeah, we've got a hoodie. A hood, should I say, not a hoodie. We actually wear that hood, it should help us a little bit with the sun. More food, I'm just going to go ahead and eat that because we're still not fully up. Now, I presume there's another floor up there. This is holes everywhere. Not 100% sure. Get out on the front. Maybe we can. Double check and make sure there's nothing that we've missed. Nothing there. Check the other side. Make sure you check the floorboards as well. Sometimes they stick up, they'll have stuff underneath them. Rubbish. Right. This could be a potential way up here. Like it is. I think we've got everything out of that. There could be something up above. We'll be fine. Right, let's go and check out the building next door. Boom! I love the sledgehammer. Okay. Break into here and let's see what we've got in here, shall we? So we just want to just keep going with getting any supplies we can. It might be a bit tedious, but you know, at the end of the day, it's going to keep you alive. Could be something that looks like this could have actually been emptied out already. Power line there. Oh, there's a vulture. Boom. Down you go. Gonna eat. In fact, have I got my knife? I've got my knife on me. Let's just go and knife it. The feathers. Because we're going to need all these feathers when it comes to Horde Knight because we're obviously going to need some arrows. So, why not? This could be one that high towers. Nope. They just seem to be empty. Fine. Okay, let's go in. Let's just repair our sledgehammer before we go in there. Go. Get the trash. Okay, again, there's usually a way into these buildings. Bird's nest. Feathers. Sometimes there isn't, but there usually is. Okay, we'll just break in. Uh, what entrance should we take? Check around here first. What we can do is we can place a block down here. So, and let's break in this window here. 
Go. Boy, it's dark in here. Okay. Keep an eye out. Weird colouring around this place. Picture frame. Picture frame. Now keep an eye out some of these POIs do have traps in them, so just Oh, that's a flamer. They can be a pain to kill them. Thankfully, he wasn't too bad. However, he would have been on top of us as soon as we came through the door. Kind of glad we didn't come through the door. Always keeping the loot. Hit that just in case there's a zombie behind it, because then they'll break it for you. See what we got. There, uh, we've got an open door here. There's a potential for him to drop. Oh! Get the loot quickly. Make sure nobody drops down that hole behind us. Oh! We got him. Did I spot some food then? No, we got a blunderbuss, however, and we got some blunderbuss ammo, so that'll be good to put on to our hot bar. Useful to have in case you get stuck in a situation, so we'll grab that. Oh, I think I've woken somebody up. I could have been downstairs, let's just quickly grab the bookcase. A couple of notes. I don't actually know where that's coming from. Oh, it is. Yeah, I figured it was. Okay, so we'll let them break through that door for now. Whilst we continue upstairs. We've got a blunderbuss, so we can easily... Get out of the situation, hopefully. Grab all this. Picture frames as well. Well, I say picture frames, that's... Uh... And search everything right it looks like they're going through the wooden door now we'll head on back down oh oh that's a few of them as soon as you break through that door i am blowing them up get a good spread come on Did I, oh, I, I got two of them. Oh, oh, if you aim, you lose the stamina. I forgot about that. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh. That's another room. Oh, too close to me. There we go, she's down. Whew. Well, let's just double check the room that they came out of. Oh, okay. So that was the room that I've just... Yeah, okay, that's nice. Well, what's in here? Another blunderbuss, we'll just scrap that. We've got a diamond, which is good for money, silver nuggets, and some more ammo. Excellent. And we also got another mini kitchen as well, so we can hopefully get some more food. Oh, now... This is one I did forget to mention. You see the top there? It's loose. This is a fake cupboard. Which usually has stuff in it. Like, oh. I think. Oh, we've just got to be really careful of our weight now, but we've still not got any food. Again, you can choose whether you uh, decide to actually, you know, scrap stuff if you want to. Absolutely no problem scrapping stuff, but I tend to keep all of them as much as I can. Sounds like a wandering horde. It definitely sounds like a wandering horde.
more stuff in here to pick up. Okay. I've already done that one. Got another working stiffs. Uh, another stone axe, stone shovel, and we've got another anvil. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna scrap the anvil. Got any more food on us? We've got a couple more eggs that we can do something with. Got a hat that give us. Okay, we'll wear that one because it gives us better cold and heat resistance. Sounds like they're still trying to break in. So, when I said about the concept of using uh, just a single block like this, you see, he can't get in. We actually just walked through the spike, so he killed himself. You see, that they can't actually, if you stay away from it, they can't actually hit you, so it's useful to know. I think we've got everything from downstairs done. Let's head on back upstairs. Hearing noises upstairs. Let's have a look and see if we can get work our way up. Might be a way here. Have a look what we've got around here. Nothing much around there. We'll help Hightower out. No. Excellent. Right, so now we are level 6, so we've got to be really careful about dying now because we'll start getting um, XP restrictions on us. Right. Got an upstairs here. Is there any way of getting up? No way at all of getting up through there. So let's just. Uh, let's block up. Ah! Bit weird for me. Hmm. Let's see if we can... Oh. Oh, man. Reload quickly. Reload quicker. Okay, we're good. Be careful because there might be another zombie around here. Taking all corners. Ah, oh, there's the entrance there. Yeah, but we're looking good. Looks like we've got no more zombies around us. I'm not finding any resources. There's a nest there. I don't realize he dropped loot. Crash pile. Uh, these here as well, these are loose spots where you can break them off, but you can actually pick it up through it. Medical power, which is more... Oh, there we go. Off. Keep an eye out. These again, you can get these for resources, plastics and stuff like that. They also sometimes hide stuff underneath them, like if there's a whole block of these in one area, sometimes there's stuff like in between them. Just stick them in each other. And another backpack here. And we've got Let's take it, right. Let's see where this room leads to. Oh, okay, they're beating in this here. Often behind the picture. There is a loose floorboard there that we'll deal with in a second. Once I've dealt with the zombies. I think I got them both. Have we actually been in this room? I don't think we have. So this was the room that was locked. 
the right tool out just yeah. ammo pile grab that the zombie beating on the door there we go oh he would have to drop something wouldn't he Oh, I went a little too far there. Let the arrow. Here we go. Oh, we need to repair this item. Go. See what's in here? We've got a book, so we can just read the book. Now we need to get out of here because we've got no more room. We're over encumbered, we're going to just use so much energy to get back. Empty here. Let's head on back out. Where they broke into. Alright, so I'm going to hobble back. I'll cut it here so you don't have to watch me hobble in. But once we get back, we'll we'll, um, we'll finish off the rest of the horde base, hopefully. Not until then, let's go in a moment. In a moment. And welcome back everybody, as you can see we're, we're sweltering in this heat because it is a heat wave. So we're going to sort that out by just grabbing a bit of yucca juice. And we've grabbed some murky water and I did em I did fill the empty glasses that we had with murky water from that little pool that I pointed out. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that on to boiled water. That'll work through. Now we are a little bit short on wood but it's got a little bit of time. It'll probably just be not enough so let's just go ahead and add a bit more to that. Now, because that's already burning, you can't actually add to it. It just does a big cross. So you have to put it in the second slot. And then if you want to kind of, you know, spread it around so it doesn't use all of your stacks, so you've got a chance to turn off and stuff like that, you can do that. And you can, you know, there's a few things you can do with that. Um, now, let's just chuck everything into here that we don't, don't want at the present moment. These here are quests. Um, I'm not going to cover them in this guide because the, realistically, you shouldn't really be doing them at this level. We've got crossbow ammo, I've got a spear, you know, we've got plenty of ammo and stuff like that, loads of stuff that we've got. Um, oh, I, I want the blunderbuss ammo. Uh, we'll keep the stone shovel this time. We're going to drop the club in there, we've actually got two of them. So let's get them. I'll keep all of the club just in case. You can see we're starting to get some ammo about as well, so when we do find the weapons for these ammos, you know, like we did with the blunderbuss, we already had the ammo and stuff like that, we had a use for it. And um, that's not going to let me do it, so we'll, we'll scrap them into... Um, Grass. Uh, we'll do the same for the jukes for now because we don't need the jukes. Uh, we've got two iron arrows. We need to think about getting some more iron arrows. What else have we got here? Take out. We'll take the flint, the, the fiber out for now. Um, okay, so we've got armor versus boots. Just chuck them in there. I don't need any more cooking pots. There's really seven of them there. The ammo in. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh. So, what we want to do now is we want to upgrade our base. Now, I've put these three here. But if I then go across here, like so, I'm gonna basically build a, a frame, basically. Oh. I'll put that there. Yeah, we're just out of things, so let's just go to here. Frame. Uh, we'll, we'll just get rid of the brass at the moment, so let's just check on our water supply. And then I want to get the eggs that we've got, so we've managed to gather a few eggs. Let's go ahead and chuck them boiled eggs on. Uh, now they'll boil all 11 eggs, but we'll use 11 waters for it, but it's fine because we've got the yucca juice, so we can grab another yucca juice, keep us topped up. I'd rather have the boiled eggs right now because obviously they're going to keep us alive. And we do run a slight risk on poison, but we've got we've got stuff to, to kind of resolve that. So hopefully maybe it won't be too bad. We've got some more yucca fruit, so I'm going to turn what I have left of water into yucca juice. Just clear all that. Turn that off. Recipes. Juice. But we've got no room in the queue stuff, so we'll just get rid of that for now. Okay, so what I want to do, and what I'm going to explain here, is, is I don't want to set it up where this entire floor is just these blocks here, because you can't shoot through these. 
Now, as you've seen me in any of my previous ones, if you've watched them, I like to have an area where I can shoot the zombies so I can actually get some XP. Because if you're not getting any XP, you're going to be wasting it. But that's what I'm going to be doing on the next episode. However, for this one, I'm just going to let it tick over because I don't want to watch you, you know, want, don't want to make you watch me get rid of all this. So we'll, we'll call it here and we'll be back on the next episode, hopefully where we can see some more of the horde base being built. As you've seen, the first part of this was all about gathering more resources, keeping ourselves alive, topped up, ammo, etc. Until next time, take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.